Hello everyone, welcome to the Riley's Playtime YouTube channel. We are once again doing another SH Figure Arts review. This time my Gohan figure finally came in. As you know, I've already reviewed the Piccolo and Vegeta figures from this superhero line of SH Figure Arts. Um, so I'm kind of rushing this and I've already noticed that the angle, it looks like the box is super slanted, so sorry about that. But anyways, getting into the review, the front of the box looks good. Um, of course you have all the usual stuff, nothing to really talk about as far as the box goes. I'll just go ahead and show it to you and let you appreciate it if you don't already own this figure, just so you can get a look for it. Of course, nothing really on the bottom, top of the box as well. So let's go ahead and get them open and just talk about the details. Okay, so here he is outside of the box. Um, of course, I still haven't upgraded my setup, so the lighting is going to be completely off here. But just getting into him in general, from an aesthetic point of view, he looks awesome. He looks menacing. It's Gohan, and I'm happy, and he is my second Gohan figure, my first official SH figure arts go on figure. So this is the, the one with the 3.0 articulation, which I am completely hating. From other reviews and from having it in hand, I strongly dislike 3.0 articulation on this figure and I don't understand why they would have downgraded in my opinion. So the things I do like, the face looks good. We'll get into accessories. In a minute the hair I like the way it's sculpted it's not too shiny although of course we still have that like SH figure arts shiny skin tone shiny boots for some reason that I'm not a fan of but the um, the rest of the articulation besides the limbs I think I'm fine with as far as 3.0 you can see that cut right there in the back the colors look nice. It's the quality we've come to expect from Tamashi Nations. The color scheme for this outfit that he wears in the movie is pretty cool. I like the black wristbands. I know everybody's going to be making a Broly Second Coming version. Um, there's a kit out right now I've seen on Instagram. You could change the belt and the boots, I believe, to go ahead and make it that version of them. If it was slightly more blue, I would probably buy a second one and do the same thing myself, but it's more purple, and if it were like more blue, I would love to do that. I've always wanted a Broly Second Coming version. Broly movies were my favorite movies, but I'm rambling. So anyways, the paint apps, they're great. The quality of the plastic, the plastic feels solid. I like the way the joints feel. We'll get into articulation later, but... They do feel great. There's not really a lot to talk about as far as just how he feels, how he looks. The QC, I mean, I've had him for like two seconds opened and I don't see any quality control issues right now. So that's awesome. But we'll go ahead and um, take out his accessories and he doesn't come with a lot. So yeah. So of course you have the face, the hands that are on the figure, as always, fisted hands in a neutral face. And we have the standard alternate faces here. Oh, well, you can see that. We have the gritting face and the screaming, powering up face. Gohan really wasn't that happy in the movie except for the beginning, so... Those are kind of expected, although I would have liked to see a smiling face, but I'm not sure if that comes with the glasses, because the rest of his exec- Oh my gosh, I can't speak. His accessories are locked behind the paywall of the other two figures from the movie that will be coming out, the superheroes themselves, the androids, which I cannot think of the name of, I think they're called Gammas 1 and 2, I know that. Um, one comes with his Super Saiyan hair and cape, and then I think the other one comes with his normal base head with glasses, unless the cape and the glasses come. Either way, they don't come with the figure. He has three extra sets of hands, and I don't see the point in taking them out. 
So I'll just go ahead and move the camera real quick for you guys. Sorry about the lighting again, but yeah, you can see there we have the like blasting hands, we have the like grabby hands, and then the fighting pose hands. And if the lighting was better, you could see that those look great on mine. Um, I don't have any problems with them as well. And so anyways, let's see, I haven't swapped heads on this. Let's go ahead and uh, attempt to change the face. We'll do this off camera because I don't want to bump everything over, but um, so it looks like it's pretty standard. The hair pops off at the front and it's actually sticking together on mine, funny enough, so looks kind of weird. Um, yeah, so it looks like there's two pegs at the top, and I don't know why I didn't notice this when I was holding them, and then there's, and like, that's really it. And then the other is, uh, two pegs in the back, that's what I was trying to say. So, you won't be able to face swap this figure with any of the... Others, so I guess you have to put the bangs in first and then as one piece add that to the rest of the hair Which is kind of interesting and a little bit different from all the other figures. So yeah, but anyways, there's a face swap real quick and um, I'd say he looks pretty good. I don't really know what to say about him in terms of design. He's pretty badass honestly um, I think this might actually, well, pose better than what he is now, but might be the face and the hands. I go ahead and just leave these on and leave them in a powering up pose on the shelf because I don't really have another figure like that. Um, I do have my other figures here for size comparisons, but let's go ahead and get into the articulation because let's just get the negatives out of the way. We have... Top to bottom, as always. Let's go ahead and straighten these back out. And he feels heavier than the other figures I have, so I kind of like that. That leads me to believe the quality is a little bit nicer. He also has subtle shading on the pants, but not a lot. But that's pretty standard. There's not much to talk about there. So, for the head, he goes up that amount. He goes down that amount without the neck and then with the neck he can look all the way down at himself 360 kind of tough to get around the neck but it does go and apparently I have some gapping like the face isn't on all the way so that might be an issue with the figures the way they have the face design doesn't sit unless I just didn't put it on all the way so of course there's some tilt a little forward and back at the neck. I'm sure you could rotate the neck 360. I'm not going to pop the head off. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the chest. So it bends forward this much, bends backward that much. There's like no tilt, kind of rocks a little bit. You can get some slight side to side with the belt, but then of course the waist, the top of the waist starts to turn and then of course you have the bottom of the waist that goes 360 as well and so you can get some tilt out of that as well and then with both forward both joints backwards that's about all you're gonna get now for the part that I was avoiding the shoulders this reminds me of Dragon Stars and I absolutely despise it so there's not a butterfly joint like typical but it is like simulated, I guess. With the butterfly joint, there was a lot less gas gap and I simply don't like how much gap there is now. This little peg, I popped it off a second ago trying to, trying to move his arm up, which I don't think I can do. So he has like that Goku style Dragon Stars figure thing going on where his shoulders are limited but you can still cross the arms with the use of so the peg moves a little bit 
not really forward and back, but it like rotates a little bit. You can see right there. The arms are still standard, so the shoulders move up as much as the little shirt piece, shoulder piece allows you to. But then of course you have your bicep swivel, 360 double jointed elbows, 360 at the wrist, and you get a hinge, ball hinge, and you can cross the arms just fine once you get this, which I feel like I'm stressing it. It looks stressed right there. Um, once you get that out of the way, but it's gonna take a while because I've never done this before and it's kind of annoying me right now, I'm not gonna lie. You can cross his arms. I'm not gonna play with it too much, but moving on, that is a pain in the ass and I hope someone in the comments knows a better way to get that to move out of the way. I want to be able to raise his arms up, but so far, that's all you're going to get. And that's just, that looks silly. And then backwards, well, I guess that's about the best I could do. But that looks shitty, because then that sticks out like it's the front when it should be thinner, where the back would be. But whatever, moving on. So, for the hips, we can... Um, and go out, so we can do the splits. 360 at the waist, of course, like I already mentioned. The belt is free floating, like always. You get double jointed knees, which are awesome. You get rotation, the same rotation you would always get at the thigh, except I feel like this one is a little bit more like lower, like the cut is lower and I guess that's just because he's taller, but it also could be the 3.0. So you get full rotation front, no rotation to the back because he has a solid butt, which is annoying. That's why I said I hated it because the 2.0, you could go all the way back, as we all know, and then you could go all the way forward, all the way out to the side. Well, I guess you could still do this all the way out to the side thing for those in-air shots, but... Um, yeah, I just, I don't like it. I don't understand why they wouldn't keep the 2.0 articulation. Um, yeah, there's not much to say. There is rotation 360 at the foot. You get like, no tilt. This is a separate piece, little top part there, kind of hiding the joint. So that goes down, forward, toe hinge, and that's it. That's all for the articulation. And I don't really know what else to say. So, so far, if it wasn't for the articulation, I would love this figure. He'd probably be my favorite figure. He might still be my favorite figure that I own besides the Piccolo figure that I last reviewed and the Vegeta. Those are becoming my favorite figures, mostly because they're new. And I don't really collect these a ton because... There's you a better look at the lighting, of course. You can see my little light. That's all I have. I plan to get two of them so I can keep one here and then one here and that'll look better, but I've got to fund it first. So, it's time for size comparisons. We're going to pull out the Vegeta figure, superhero movie version, the Piccolo from the same line, and the Demoniacal Fit Gohan. Those are the only three figures that I have with me right now. Actually, that's a lie. I have two Vegetas, but otherwise... Let's get right into it. Up next to his father, we have him. They're about the same height. Honestly, if it wasn't for Gohan's hair, he would be up to about Piccolo's chest. Gohan's hair, he is almost all the way up to his head. Well, the very top of his head, Piccolo's head. So, these two are very similar figures. Of course, they have the same color scheme, just Piccolo's is darker. That's what they look like together. From the back. I mean, they look badass. If you have these two on the shelf together, they're going to look great. Kind of reminds me of the Tournament of Power when they fought together. But let's get Piccolo out of the way. And if Gohan would stand up, I'd be able to get a more accurate size comparison. So standing next to his very third-party knockoff, but still a decent figure. 
You have the Demoniacal Fit Ultimate Fighter, I believe is his name. This is the Boo Saga, Goku Gi Gohan. So it'll also give you a look, I guess, at what the standard 2.0 body looks like next to him. He is slightly shorter, could be the stance, but I doubt it. I feel like his hair is a little bit shorter. Um, the 2.0 body also feels a little bit shorter. That's what I was saying about the legs. They feel taller than they should be, and look, they kind of are. So that's a little odd. Um, next up, I have my Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. Well, Demoniacal Fit ev Evolution. Standing right next to him. Vegeta. And then if we move this guy out of the way... We can go ahead and set up the movie version, which I have posed up nicely right there. And Vegeta, Gohan, and Piccolo together do sit nice on your shelf, or at least on my shelf. So here they are. Let's go ahead and zoom out. They do look really good. So, final verdict on this figure, should you buy it, I have no clue, that's up to you. If you love Gohan, I'd say buy it, that's the only reason I bought it, except for to do this review. Um, if you like the movie, then of course, further reason to buy it. If you want a really solid head sculpt for Gohan, if you could ignore the articulation, you like the color scheme, obviously go for it. I love the head. Actually, that sounded bad. This is not a channel for kids. Speaking of the head, let's go ahead and head swap with the demoniacal fit. It does not fit, funny enough. The peg on the, uh, with some, if you had some sticky tack, this would work, but the head, the peg for the Official released Gohan is way too big, so you might be able to Dremel or force a peg swap and then they would work, but here's what it looks like, just giving you an idea of this head on a Goku body. I'm pretty sure people have swapped the, the head on Goku bodies before and it looks great. But otherwise, I actually have no clue. Um, and if you want to see a funny stub nose or stub neck, there he is. He looks really weird. That doesn't fit. So let's just go ahead and pop back on the one that does fit. Um, also, while I'm saying this, the neck peg does feel very solid. And you don't really have to force it on like you've had to in the past. But anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. As the dogs are barking in the background, that's a good time to wrap this up. Let me know what you thought about the figure and if you would buy it yourself.